Finally, finally replacing the carpet in mine and my husband's bedroom. I am so happy. So currently, a lot of our stuff is not only out here, but we kind of just utilized and piled a lot of stuff in here. And more day work. <laughs> pull it up off. Come on, use those muscles. I don't have any. <laughs> I don't lift. We, uh, I should say my husband is doing all this himself. <laughs> See, I was pulling. But I am excited. Yay, finally. Slowly, old carpet coming up, one Ew. piece at a time. <laughs> this is the easy part. The hard part is putting all this back. <laughs> but yeah, I thought I would give you guys just a little peek about of what we're doing today. So I'm finally getting new carpet. So there was sort of like the before, and I guess I will show you guys what the after looks like. See you then. Well, it'll be a few seconds for you, probably a couple hours for us. Wow! 
last and final piece. Coming up. What is that? Yeah. Kitty cat. Come on, Smokey. Oh, that's gonna hurt if you touch it the wrong way. Look at all that. Tiny little nails. This is what has to go down first. No. Or we can do everything else. Ah. Nail it onto the floor or no? Yeah, it has to go nailed on the floor. I want to hammer it down. long skinny pieces of wood that have the nails in them. They're called stra tack strip and it's what helps hold the carpet to the floor. And we don't have enough. So we're kind of um, trying to figure out what we can do. Um, we're able to do this carpet um, replacement pretty much completely free because not only does my husband work at a place that sells carpet and flooring, but he got a lot of the stuff that we needed, like the tools and the tack strip and the padding donated by other um, people who actually install carpet for a living. Um, Paul was kind of like a manager of them in a way, and so um, he's he like he's in good with them, I guess you could say. And, they pretty much, he had one friend who was like, yeah, sure, I'll give you this, I'll give you this, and bam. So we're pretty much able to do this carpet replacement completely free. And so the tax strip that we got was a donation, and we don't have enough. So we're trying to see if maybe that person has, we just need three more, that's it. And we're trying to see if maybe that person can hook us up with three more. And if not, it looks like we have to go and figure something out. So yeah, that is the update for me. It's been two hours and we finally got more of the tack strips. So we're getting those in and it should be smooth sailing now. We should have no other problems. So let's switch over to a montage.
hard at work trying to stretch the carpet to fit the room so we don't have any air bubbles or pockets underneath and then cutting the excess and trying to stick it up underneath so almost there some spots like right here that just did not want to go up underneath um up underneath the wall and if we had baseboards we would be able to hide those easily but because we don't have baseboards we kind of just left it the way it is but that's fine because we our bed goes there we have a dresser that goes over here so all that stuff will hide that anyway so but yeah, it's officially. Yay! Say hi! Hi! A nice new carpet. I'm so happy. Now, we gotta start moving all this and all the stuff that's out there back into here. And it is currently. Let me see if I can give you guys a time check. It's currently 9.43 at night, so hopefully, hopefully we can get this all moved back in before midnight. Guys, guys, guys. We'll see. He just did a roll. Hey, do it again. Do it again. You got it? Oh, no. Get. Do it again. And go. Woo! Woo! Good job. <laughs> Wee. All right, so Wee. I will... Check back in with y'all when we have everything moved back into Whee! the room.
the majority of the big stuff back in the room. They're very close now. Everybody has dirty clothes. It's all made up and everything. So all the big stuff is in. We do still have quite a few things of junk for me to go through and figure out if it needs to go in the trash and, or if it needs to go in a container and in the storage shed. But yeah, we pretty much finished. My husband's tired so he's laying on the floor. Um, but this is what it looks like. It looks so, so much nicer. And I haven't put any of my Legos back up yet. They're still all on her bed. But she's going to sleep on her sister's bed with her um, tonight. And then tomorrow, hopefully, we'll get it all finished. But yeah, for now, this is so much better. And it's so cushiony and soft. I'm happy. And then on Tuesday, I'm going to go and buy my very first vacuum. Because yes, our, vacuum. Yeah, our other coffer didn't really do well with vacuums. I mostly just had to sweep it, but this carpet will require a vacuum, so I'm going to go purchase one on Tuesday. Thank you guys for uh, joining, and if you've made it all the way to the very end of this video, please leave it a thumbs up. Um, <laughs> if you liked it, leave any of your comments down below if you can. If you can't, you can always follow me on Facebook or Instagram. Links are down below. And until next time, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you're new, hit the bell notification to get notified every single time we post a new video. Oh, I suck the nail. Oh, I think I, I just pushed down too hard and then I said no. No, you shouldn't have stopped on that. Oh, well, maybe it was okay. Bye.